This is Blaine with Stocks for Beer Trading, and I just want to go over some stocks I want here for October the 2nd. First one up here is SANP. Nice little washout into close today. Actually, ended up selling this thing about flat, uh, actually, right on 151 where we bought it. Um, so, turned out into a no gain for me, but um, hopefully, it gets another washout in the morning, and then we can get a bounce play out of it. That'll be my long opportunity to actually make some money off of it. Uh, yeah, and I will be selling this time, and then basically just trade the setups on the way up if it if it actually uh, heads back up. So nonetheless, just watching for a bounce play off of SANP in the morning. Zag, I'm um, still watching this nine spot. Basically, I tested it today and then pulled back and then almost tested it into close. So I would not be surprised to see this thing break through nine um, today. CVO closed right on that 240 mark. I'm liking this thing to to get a push over those highs from earlier uh, for, from back in September. So um, definitely be interested in swinging this higher. I'll uh, I'll talk about this more in chat today. A1 I'm long from just above 28 off this support bounce here. Um, basically looking forward to get through 30 this morning and if it does, it should pop like it did. Uh, back in September. Wouldn't be surprised to get another 10% or so and then I'll be locked in that profit. IMH, this low floater is coming back up. Needs to break through that 8 spot and if it does I wouldn't be surprised to see it test highs from earlier in September. And who knows, uh, I mean, it might even be setting up to go higher than that towards 9 or 10. So just keep this one on watch, especially if it starts to get more volume. S and SS been in consolidation mode here on this 60 minute chart basically since the 20th of September even just been trading sideways here so watch for this thing to eventually break down below 550 to short it or above about uh, about 580 to take it long those are my two trade ideas here on S and SS NVAX nice breakout on the daily chart yesterday Watch for fall through over 240. MEMS, bottom chart to watch here, especially if it can break through about 180. I uh, drew the 50 day moving average on here. I normally don't do that, but this is just one to watch. I think that um, a lot of traders have been watching this to see if they can actually get back above this 50 day moving average and make a bottom off of it so watch for over 180 and then 182 is right where that 50 day moving average is so that's the uh, that's the trade idea there if it can can bust through those two areas ETAK watch for follow through over 150 this thing has the ability to run it just needs to get some momentum and some volume and if it can do that I would not be surprised to see this thing get 20, 30, 40 cents out of it if it can, if it can get going. So I'll be watching that for the 150 break and then um, keeping a tight stop on it just in case it doesn't go. But nice off the bottom so far here. You can kind of see that little trend off the bottom and then basically where it broke down the last time and then dropped off. And so it's kind of setting up there to go higher if it can get through 150. WG might not be in play today per se, but I'm definitely still watching this six spot been trying to come off bottom here make it made a higher low since the beginning of September so if and now if you can get through that six peak from back in September and August then this should go higher so keep your eye on WG and the last one here ADMP I mentioned this in chat today yesterday whatever whatever day it is um, broke uh, Broke through Friday's high, ran to 70. So this is resistance level here at 70, and then the next resistance is at 80. And I would not be surprised to see it test that before getting a quick pullback, maybe for a day or two or three or a week or something, and then busting through that 80 to take it higher. Obviously, that'd be the main way to play this thing now is to see if it can test that 80 and then pull back, and I'd probably be a dip buyer on on the day or two that it dips and then hopefully looking looking to see if we can get a push through that 80 mark 
um, for a run towards like 90 or a dollar just based on what it did earlier this year I think it has potential to, to run higher if we can get through those um, those levels obviously volume is relatively light on this thing so just be careful if you play and play small and set a stop stop loss that uh, you're comfortable with risking anyway there's your watch list for October the 2nd and I will see you guys in the chat room this morning